Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Zep, aka Squirrel, and I just wanted to do a short video on how I did my Flesh Eater Ghouls, so check it out. Okay, so first off, I had already done a little bit of work to all 60 of the ghouls, so um, I'm just going to tell you guys what I did to get them to the point where you see them in the very first picture. So I started off base coating everything with dead flesh, and then I gave them a wash with Agrix, Agrix Earthshade, then a heavy dry brush of dead flesh, and then a lighter dry brush of green gray. Then after that, I used Vallejo Model Air Burnt Umber, and I did the back pieces and the crotch and anything hanging down or anything that could resemble fur or hair in any way. Now this part to me was actually pretty difficult to decide on a color. I tried green, I tried purple, I liked it but I figured brown was the most natural so I went with it. Next I used Vallejo Game Color Leather Brown and I highlighted everything that I just painted with the burnt umber. It's a subtle highlight but it's just enough to make it stand out. Then I used Vallejo Game Color Bone White and painted any bones they were holding or that were protruding from the skin, and I also painted their spine. Next I used Citadel Sepia Shade and washed over all of the bone. I normally go with Earth Shade to wash bone, but since I had done the model already in Earthshade, I wanted to give the bone a little bit of a yellowish color to make it stand out. Next I came back again with Vallejo Game Color Bone White, and I highlighted the bone. I didn't go overboard because I still wanted a lot of the yellowish brown from the wash to stand out. Now I use Vallejo Model Air Khaki Brown, uh, you could also use just regular game color khaki, and I painted all of the straps and everything that was holding the bones on, like all of the ropes. Now I went with the khaki brown over a leather brown because I wanted it to look more like cloth as opposed to leather. Next I took the good old Agrix Earthshade, went over everything that I had just painted khaki, making sure to barely hit the skin to leave a defining line. Next I came in with Vallejo Game Color Off-White and painted in the eyeballs. You could do this with any white, this is just the one I picked. Next I used Vallejo Game Color Livery Green to give him an eerie green glow. Now finally I came in with some Citadel Technical Blood for the Blood God, and I put it on the hands and in the mouth to make it look like they've been eating people. I put more blood on some than others, just to give it some variation. Well there you have it guys, that's my Flesh Eater Quartz Crypt Ghouls. I hope you like it. Uh, this is not a pro painting tutorial or anything like that, this is um, just how to power through 60, 80, 100 little ghouls and Get them looking good for the tabletop. I hope you guys like what you saw. Uh, definitely leave some comments below. Thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Chaotic Couples Gaming. We are Zeb and Rachel. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Or you can find us live on Twitch. Thanks for watching.